We're here to drill an ice core to the bedrock. Minus 28 in there, and um, just come in and look to your right, you'll see an ice core, I think. Yeah. So this ice comes from 754 meters down, and it's on the order of uh, 6,000 years old. The snow that we're getting in this ice core didn't fall at this spot, because this is an ice stream that's moving, so this snow fell some hundreds of kilometers away from here, and it's moved to this spot. At this depth, we can still see one year to the next, to the next, to the next. So when we study the climate, we're actually getting information um, for every year. Uh, so we get the seasonal signals and dust and water isotopes and other impurities that tell us about atmospheric circulation, they tell us about the temperature, uh, they tell us about processes in the ocean, and, um, and then the bubbles will give us the concentrations of uh, constituents of the atmosphere, methane, carbon dioxide, nitrous oxide. So we are pulling these cores out, and the bubbles have 60 times atmospheric pressure, then the ice can't hold it, so it becomes explosive. So it, it starts so to crack on the table here, spontaneously, and, the, uh, and, and all the gases ex escape. And as a driller and scientist, it kind of breaks your heart when you do all this. You get these beautiful cylinders up, yeah. you put it on the table, and then it starts to just pop, 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 pop. You can, you can hear it like Rice Krispies. And that's what we call a brittle zone. And it's really, really terrible as a glaciologist to watch this perfect core disintegrate in front of your eyes. So we actually, and this is, it sounds completely ridiculous and backwards, but actually we mounted a freezer unit in a snow cave inside the Greenland ice sheet. And, uh, and that's simply to control the temperature. We say, everybody would say, oh, it must be cold in there. Yes, but it's not cold enough, so we are putting a freezer inside the ice sheet. And that, that, that's, that's hilarious. But anyhow, anyway, so we know the Greenland now is shrinking because there's enhanced melting around the sides. Very easy to understand because it corresponds to rising temperatures at the coastline. So we will have much more runoff. And that will make the Greenland ice sheet lose mass. So right now, I think the contribution of Greenland ice sheet to world sea level change is just beginning to show. But we don't know if this shrinking is going to be a linear, straightforward process that you can predict. And that's why we are drilling at, uh, at East Grip. You can monitor the surface. Trouble is, all kinds of funny stuff is going on at the base of the ice sheet. If something odd is going on at the base in these ice streams, and there are a lot of ice streams in Western Antarctica too, then it can upset the entire apple cart. All of a sudden you would have an unstable ice sheet that might break away, not over several centuries, but over a couple of decades. And that would be disastrous. 